All right. Yeah. Hi, this is Lynn Charles, and I'm here for Four Point doing my interview series on topics concerning point, point shoes, point dancing, point training, and Four Point. And here I am today with a lovely, adorable, and hardworking Sarah Murren, star of the New York City Ballet. Hi, Sarah. <laughs> Hello. How are you? I am tired because we just finished a power bar session. So I'm a little tired, but I'm good. <laughs> I wanted to ask you, so could you tell um, my viewers where you're from and where you started your training and when you got into City Ballet? Yeah, so I am originally from Columbia, South Carolina. Um, I moved to New York to go to the School of American Ballet when I was 16 um, in 2001. Um, I then got my apprenticeship with New York City Ballet in 2003, um, core contract in 2004. Um, so this fall coming up will be 20 years that I'm in New York City Ballet, which is Congratulations. surreal. That's like <laughs> surreal to think about. Like time flies. That's all I got to say. <laughs> yeah wow it's wonderful um i mm -hmm. wanted to ask you when you started when you first began point how old were you well you're gonna be surprised by this and maybe a little shocked i don't know if we've talked about this before but my teacher miss ann brody put me on point when i was seven and a half and whenever i tell people that now they're just like what? I'm like, I don't know. I think there was like a group of, there was like four of us and we were just more advanced than the other students, I guess. And um, she decided to, you know, to get us in point shoes already and start like strengthening. And I remember our first, I remember my first thing in point shoes on stage, we were probably like eight or something. And we did the four signets. Oh, <laughs> in <some> Swan Lake. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that and it was so hard but like that's why I, um I don't know I think that's why I mean people don't do that now but I think for some reason that's why my feet may be strong in point shoes and that you know I um knock on wood have been very lucky with not having a lot of foot problems um in point shoes and they just feel you know, it just, it feels good. I'd rather be in a point shoe than in flat shoes or barefoot or any street shoe besides sneaker. Point shoes just feel like, like oh. a glove to me. So, um, yeah, I was, I was very, very young, but I think it sort of paid off. <laughs> in and, the end. and it was then a positive experience for you. Yes. I've never, and, um, my first point shoes were Capizio Ariel's. I remember, uh -huh. Um, and, um, and then I'm, I moved on to Freed pretty soon after I was going to the New York City Ballet. Um, so I was just in Confusio for that. And then I moved to Freed, but it was always like a, yeah, it was a very, very positive experience for me for point shoes all the time. Um, for me, the importance of four point is that I believed that the normal standard traditional point class wasn't helping dancers enough to prepare for the contemporary and new choreographer choreographies that were being made. There was such a tremendous increase in dancer foot injuries. And so I really worked on this method to find exercise to really strengthen the ankles, strengthen the metatarsal, the intrinsic muscles, to really make dancers be and stay more prepared for the challenges they're facing. And I wanted to ask you, what was your experience with Four Point? And do you feel that it helped you? Oh, I mean, like, it was like night and day, I have to tell you. I mean, I think we connected first in probably Denmark, and then you came to this New York and reached out and um, we started working on our own and then we had like a couple of classes with other people. But um, I just remember it was so transformative of how my foot works in my shoe mm -hmm. and how 
you know, for you, I remember you, you said it was really important that like your foot and your shoe become one, you know, it's not separate entities and they have to work together. And, um, and so that it just changed the way I approached point strengthening. Like I never used to do like in class, you know, at New York City Ballet, we do um, a bar and flat. And then we put our point shoes on for center. It's not like we just put our point shoes on for rehearsals. Like we already are putting our point shoes on at 11 a.m. for center. And I never did like strengthening exercises before I was doing stuff in the center. And after we met, I was just like, no, no, no. Like you can't just like go from like flat to just like doing everything on point. Like you have to have this midsection where like you do like three or four exercises for your feet to get them like as one and so you can actually articulate and do the exercise in the center so I I do that every day now like I don't just like go into center and even if I'm like a combination late I'd rather be late than like not warm like my feet not ready and warm to do center and also I have to say my thing in like all my corrections always in my career was like you need to get your footwork better you need to work on your footwork you need to like be more turned out when you go into something, you know, like I had the legs, I had the back, like the drama, whatever, but I, my, my footwork was always the thing lacking. And I remember specifically after we worked, it was in 2019, my director, now John Stafford and Wendy Whalen, they were like, footwork, you're like so much better now. And then like when we would be in like rehearsals, Wendy would be like, Everybody just, you need to look at Sarah's forward. And I was just like, is this really happening? <laughs> this has never happened in my life. And I was like, this has to be because of four points. Because I'm now actually like, I don't have to really think about presenting my foot anymore because of the work I do in the exercises that you've done at the bar. Like it makes your feet just do that naturally and train them. So they're just like that. So then when you actually start dancing in a piece, they're just doing it. You're not thinking about it. Um, so that was that was huge for me because I was just like, oh my God, I finally have good footwork. Like I've always wanted this <laughs> and I finally got it. So it was a huge, huge deal for me. Well, I'm, I yeah. feel really honored that I was able to be part of that for you. So thank you. I mean, I can't believe it. Just like the signs, the universe aligned and... And well, then, well, you know, it was right before COVID, yes. right? So then I continued it before, like during COVID, that's what sustained my point work in this little studio that I'm in now at home. I would just do your bars and your point work bars to like keep my feet going. Cause I was like, there's no way I can like let it go. Like I have to try. Tell me what is your most difficult role on point? Not stamina was, but really for the feet work. What what role do you find the most challenging? I have to say, you know, there's also, there's, you know, a lot of like fast, intricate parts that I do. But I have to say, um, I, I, I can tell my feet get the most tired and I can't use them anymore in diamonds when I get to the end of diamonds and I have to do these fuetes and I have to like keep going doing it. It's like all this footwork and my feet are just, they're like almost dead. And like I, one time, and this is before we worked actually, the last turn for diamonds were the turn into Ponche, the very last one, I did not get up to point. <laughs> I didn't get up to point in a show. And I was like, this is mortifying. This is mortifying. I just, my calf was just gone. Like I couldn't get up. And my, I think it was like the glute, like the whole connection was just shot because that leg is dominant in that piece. And I, that was just mortifying to me. So that's the only body that's ever happened in where like, I just couldn't find the strength anymore. And I don't feel that anymore. Like, since then and since I've been doing your exercises and four point, like I just know that's the one thing that's not gonna go on stage because the, the strength in the calf and in the foot is there to just keep relevant, just keep going. 
mm-hmm. it's going to be fine. Everything else might go, but like, yeah, diamond for sure. <laughs> Um, I'm really, I'm, I'm really happy to hear that. And actually we're working together now because you're recovering and trying to get back after injury. And how do you feel then? So I understand the value of it for point work, but tell us a little bit about the value for rehab. Yeah. I mean, so I've sort of been out since the end of December with, you know, personal stuff. And I had some injuries that weren't like bad enough, but like just kept me inhibited from like moving forward in class and stuff. So um, I finally feel like I can start pushing again. And I knew that I even felt it in my first day of rehearsal, like a couple of weeks ago, that my calves, was, they weren't okay. Like they weren't ready to take on the workload of even just standing or moving or just like and I was actually very nervous and so it was sort of like fate again that we like connected and I was like oh my god this is what my calves and my feet need because I haven't been doing this for two and a half months and um I just it needs that jolt again you need like your class and rehearsals are not going to give it to you like you can't you have to already be strong to get through those things. As I guess, you know, I don't know if it's like that, but at New York City Valley, like there's no time for just like, like strengthening and rehab situation. It's just like, if you say you're ready for rehearsals, that means you're ready and like you have to do rehearsals. So um, for me, and especially at this point in my career, like 20 years in, I'm 37, like my body's been through it a lot. And to go back to the basics as a, as they call me a veteran ballerina now, to go back to the basics is like the best thing I can do for my body. Because for the 20 years, your body just sort of gets scattered. And you have to like go back to this very like simple, basic things that your calves remember, that that's how you just strengthen. So for me, it's like huge. And I feel so, I feel much more confident and like ready to go back into rehearsals next week for sure. Cool. Cool. Well, I'm really glad to have been part of that. And I'm really glad we were able to reconnect and I'm happy to help you get back in shape. And uh, I'm always there for you. If you need, I'm just a phone call away or a SMS away or a email away. So <laughs> that's so sweet. I'm so grateful. Like, seriously, like, I think things happen for a reason. And I just like, me I'm too. just so grateful to have this. Me too. Yeah. So thank you so much. Thank you for doing this little interview for me. And I give you a big hug. And seriously, I know you start back next week, but if there's a day or you see you don't have something uh, on SMS me or whatever, and we can find a time because you know I'm later here, so we can make it work. <laughs> All right? Yay! Okay. Thank you, Lynn. Thank Bye, you. Sarah. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.